How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of cart and hazy up in this piece in the form of their Take That Ride. This is a 7% alcohol by volume NJ IPA. So they're not doing any IPA. They're doing a New Jersey version of that as far as what uh, Mr. Carton has written on the side here, which I'm going to butcher because it's so hard to read, but he won't change his um, branding, is no matter where things come from, it has become a Jersey when it's Balanced and atristic awesome and a defining edge. Playing this beer game for a while, we found that Atlantic Highlands water and cold yeast make a decidedly Jersey version of a plush modern IPAs we all so in love with. We are, man, this is bad. Um, yeah, enhancing a bit of inherent bitter intention in the Jersey IPA series. We take malts and hops that we know we love together and give them the Jersey treatment I, uh, and take that ride. Look for Cascades Defining Pine to be pulled herbal by uh, Equinox Bay and Sage Side for, and for Amber Ale and Galaxy to make sure the whiny citrus fruitiness of the whole bill wins the day. Um, let's see, this is canned less than a month ago. Done, done. It is Carton's cans to a T, just a little bit of a uh, different during doing a whole off the beaten craft thing that we typically do. Here we go. It's been a bit since I've uh, reviewed a carton beer. Not that, you know what? That's a lie. I am lying to all of you because I reviewed their coop, Cupid. 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 We could say Cupid. Um, Cupid, uh, which was a stout with roses. I uh, came via, via my buddy Jerome, I think, sent that one to me. Maybe Jerome. I forget. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the first one I purchased in a while and reviewed. Uh, can wise, like I said, carton to a T. And as far as beers goes, that looks like new school hands. I mean, rich haziness to her. Um, you know, half a pinky finger of a tight, compact head on her. Me spilling shit everywhere. Let's get a nose. It smells like a modern hazy. I mean, you you are getting gobs and gobs of that citrus fruit kind of coming in there. Either is that little bit of pininess, albeit smaller than that citrus fruitiness. It's definitely there in the back. And there's this nice soft sweetness to it. And I think it's a combination of that kind of highland water and combination of cold cheese. There's this inherent softness to it. it just smells soft. Even though those, those flavors are vibrant enough for its ABV and the size of beer, there's something soft about it. Something homey about it. I don't know. But yeah, citrus leading away. A little bit of pine in the back end. Two of tea, what they described in the can. Cheers. Yeah, you can drink. Wow. You can drink 70,000 of these. It's kind of a dangerous beer because it really is heavily citrus forward. It stops short of being overwhelming, but it's very aggressive in a citrus. It's just not candy-fied or like over the top, like super like synthetic. Like some of these kind of citrus beers can get a little bit too much and they throw a little bit too much out of beer. This is kind of on the higher end of of impact, but not overdone, if that makes any sense to anybody out there. So you're getting those big citrus notes. That pine definitely comes in there as a second or third player, but really adds a, a sense of balance to that kind of sweet fruitiness. That cold cheese works nice, adds a nice kind of drying finish off into the back end, which is really cool. So the bittering in combination with the yeast adds this nice soft dryness to it. Really cool, kind of soft while at the same time having like um, a bit of minerality kind of water to it. So that's your non-stripped of everything kind of water treatment going on, or I should say lack of water treatment with the Atlantic Highlands water. It's a tasty beer. And, and it does kind of taste like Jersey in that... It's, I've always talked about, you know, these mid-Atlantic IPAs or, um, you know, uh, middle, you know, you have your Midwest IPAs and you're kind of too hearted and your Chicago-based stuff. And then you have your New England stuff. Obviously, you have your West Coast. And, and, and everybody's just kind of adopted this New England style. But there's always been this mid-Atlantic kind of slightly different bittering. Usually, it's more of a ranky onion thing. I don't get a ton of that here, but there is this inherent bittering that's not neither West- or northeast, we can call it, you know, mid-Atlantic, or we can call it Jersey. What I'm calling it is something that has bits and pieces of all the regions that we typically like, but fashioned in a way that they all work together in a very fun way. I like it. I think it's well done. It's probably my favorite hazy that Carton has done. And I've had my fair share. Um, you know, I haven't reviewed a ton of them, but I've had my fair share. Some hits, some misses. Um, but this one, just as far as... Impact, awesome. As far as mouthfeel, fantastic. 
and I can't understate how drinkable it is. I can drink a four pack of this, no contest, easy peasy, 7%, put me down for tonight. That's probably the only knock for it. Yeah, tasty stuff. Let's talk about it. This is one of the better hazies I've had as of late. I mean, it's up there. It's not Mount Rushmore status, but it's definitely goddamn tasty stuff. And let's put it this way. During our whole kind of COVID lockdown thing, I can order beers pretty much directly to my house or for a curbside pickup. If this is still available, I will certainly get myself another four-pack. Maybe. Because the price point was a little bit high. I believe this is $18. I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. But I want to say this might have been $18 a four-pack. $18 a four-pack. During this time, I have no problem with it. But $18 a four-pack seven, uh, for 7% New England style hazy is a little bit high in the price point. And I could be wrong. We'll see what's what. Call me out in the comments and I'll tell you how much I paid for it because I have an online receipt. How about that shit? I'll leave you with, if you like what will you like this beer, if you like new school kind of hazies but you're not afraid of a little bit of bittering, uh, you dig on a little bit of kind of uh, uh, depth and texture to your water treatment to where it's just not plain old, stripped of everything, and you just like fun beers made by a brewery that likes to make fun beers, yeah, you'll like this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully I'm enjoying a little hazy right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.